Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to create a professional Shopify development workflow and how to deploy your changes using GitHub Actions. Um, this is quite useful for if you want to test really thoroughly and have uh, different environments and different branches to test your new features. This can be quite useful. So let's get straight into it. So we're going to, first we're going to go through the setup. I won't be able to go to go through every step because some of these steps take quite a bit of time and I want to keep this video relatively short. So the first thing we need to do is just create a GitHub repository for your theme, for your Shopify theme. And once you have that, then you need to create your staging pre-production and production branches like I have here. I have master pre-production and staging. And now you want to go ahead and install the theme kit. It's just a way to deploy your local code to Shopify. And to do that, you would also need to create a private app on your staging and production Shopify stores. It's not so hard to do. You can just go to your <coughs> Shopify store, go to apps, manage private apps, and create a private app. And it'll give you a bunch of um, details that you will, you will need um, to configure your workflow files. Um, so we're going to go ahead and then configure our workflow files for each environment that we that we are going to use and we're going to deploy to. And then we need to create GitHub secrets, which is where our API information and store information is stored. This is, of course, for like, I think, security reasons. Um, and then we're going to uh, go through an example of a workflow you could use when you're testing new features or, and developing new features. So uh, this workflow I took from this repository here. I think it's quite good, uh, but you, I guess you could adapt this to however you, however you please. So essentially you have three branches um, and then initially you would uh, make a pull request of master, oh, you create, sorry, create a branch of master and then um, you would create a pull request to the um, staging branch. And if, if everything's fine, then you merge into staging. And if everything's fine on staging, then you merge into pre-production. And then once that's tested and everything's fine there, then you merge into master. Uh, by the way, staging is the uh, live branch, I'm oh, sorry, live theme on the staging store. Whereas the pre-production environment is the non-live theme on the production store and the master or the production theme is the live theme on the production store. So hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> um, okay, so let's quickly just go into a bit more detail. So now we've created installed theme kit and we created our private app. Now we're going to configure our workflow files. So to do that, you can just go ahead and copy the workflow files on this theme here. So here they have the <coughs> workflow files for different environments already set up. So we can just go to staging and we can just copy all of this. And then we go back to our theme and we click on actions here, little play button. And then we can click new workflow. You can click skip this and set up a workflow for yourself. Then let's delete all of this. In. And <coughs> just, just to briefly go over this um, configuration file, we have the name here, which is the name of the of the file and then we have on push um, so when something is pushed to this branch the develop branch which we have named staging so we don't need pull request no we don't need that and uh, we've named this staging so that's called let's say call it staging so when we push to branch staging then it will run this job and this job is just a deploy um, <coughs> it runs on this virtual environment here uh, um, essentially it will run these two actions we use these two actions 
which will deploy your Shopify theme. And it needs these <coughs> environment variables, which we're keeping in secrets, which I'll show you how to do in a second. And then we have some arguments here. And here we're just ignoring the settings underscore data and data dot JSON file because this is the theme styles the user has configured. So we don't want to override um, their configuration. So and we also want to use um, allow live. So we we'll add this right now. Allow live because we we're deploying this to a live theme. And if you don't add this, then there will be an error saying oh. You're not allowed to deploy to live themes unless you add this argument. So that's it. That's it for the, um, the staging one. And you do the same thing for your production and pre-production workflow files. And then it should, your workflow files should look something like this. It should have three different or as many as the number of uh, environments you want to test with. And for staging and production, you want to add the allow live argument, like so. But for pre-production, you don't need to because it's a non-live theme. <coughs> so now we need to configure our secrets. So we have first, the first one we have is our Shopify production password. Can do that by going to settings and going to secrets and here we have a list of our secrets here we click on new secret then we get our Shopify production password paste in the name and the value will be if we go to um, apps and manage private apps it will be the <coughs> um, password for our private app. And we paste that in here and click Add Secret. And we do the same for the rest of the, of the secrets. You should have a bunch of secrets here for your different, uh, for your sto different stores. Um, you also want to add your theme ID, which you get from your, you can get from Theme Kit, or you can get from your Sh Shopify theme editor. If you go to the theme editor and look in the uh, URL, you'll see some numbers and that will be your theme ID. Okay, so once we have that done, now we're ready to deploy our code and test our workflow. Okay, so now we can go through an actual example of um, a Shopify development workflow. Um, this is the workflow I'm going to use. Um, I'll paste a link to this in the description it's basically you have three different branches um staging pre-production and production and first we're going to merge the staging and if everything works out into pre-production and finally into the, the live store which is the production theme so <coughs> let's do this so the first thing we need to do is let's go back to master yes and let's create a new branch get check out Okay, so now we have a new branch. So let's quickly change our shop name. Let's call it and Dave. So shop name and Dave. So let's commit this. And now if we go back to our repository, which is here. You should see we have a new pull request. <coughs> and we're going to merge this into staging. OK. So let's create a pull request. And 
And let's merge this. And now if we go to our GitHub Actions, we should see something is being deployed into the staging theme. So here, here it is, it's queued. So it takes a few seconds for it to finish. And once it finishes, we should see shirts, sun staging, and Dave has the <coughs> store uh, title here. So it does take a few, a minute or two to deploy. So now it's deployed. Let's check staging. And there it is. Shirt, Sun, Staging, and Dave. So then now we do the same thing, but we'd, we'd um, merge our staging branch into pre production and pre production into production. And that's it. That'll be your, your workflow and hopefully prevent some bugs from occurring. And uh, yep, yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you for listening.